This morning, MTS passengers in the South Bay and East County should plan for service disruptions to some bus services. That's because drivers contracted by a third party group are on strike. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. Everyone, I'm Eric Connors. And I'm Netta E. Rompour. Yeah, many of them up early picketing right now. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Chula Vista now to explain how this will impact your morning commute. And you see that line of people behind you, Chris. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. And let's take a live look here at that picket line. You can see right here in front of the MTS station here in the South Bay. Many of them adjourned in their uh, yellow and highlight vests. You can see them right there, right in front of the entrance and exit of the MTS station here. Now, these are workers, again, the drivers that are either with First Transit or TransDev and both operate as a third party for uh, bus, bus operators, I should say, in the South Bay and East County. Now, this strike is going to impact bus routes as well as paired transit riders and a limited number of fixed route services that use mini buses. And the drivers that are on the picket line, they're pushing for better wages and working conditions from TransDev and First Transit. Now, MTS has outlined how many routes and which ones are expected to be impacted. In fact, they tweeted, quote, please plan for major service disruptions to bus service effective immediately. Expect limited to no service on routes operating out of our South Bay bus division due to a work stoppage. In fact, the union rep told us yesterday that the strike could last as long as 20 days. But back out here live, this picket strike, excuse me, the picket line going strong as this strike continues. In fact, at one point, uh, we heard a union rep asking them for uh, bodies to go down to the Otai station as well, too. So again, they are making their voices heard. Uh, it is important to point out that MTS does not have any type of uh, decision making within this process. Again, this is between the workers and their third party employers, that being either uh, First Transit or TransDev. But for more information on those routes that could be impacted, you can go to CBS8.com and click on that story link. Eric Anetta.